Dude, dude, dude. what the fuck is it spinning for? Jesus Christ, is overpriced piece of shit. Cool. So, just got that uh, MVN a Windows starter for like five fucking thousand dollars. The good thing is it comes with a um, a few months of the software, so that's good because that's really what's going to catch you and trip you up in the end. Very overpriced. Jesus Christ. So this is like my first, or actually second test. The first time I just put it on and walked around. And I'm not going to really walk you through this. I'm not going to take up too much time. I'm wasting too much time talking right now. So the main thing that was bugging me this test. I was, I was importing motions from XSense to iClone. I was getting an error and it wasn't doing it. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it wouldn't even show all the other motion profiles that are usually up there. And my bad for the audio, we got somebody watching TV in the background. Anyway, so right now, what I ended up having to do was go online and figure it out. And this dude, Mr. GFX Unreal, hooked it up. He has a, um, a Google Drive location where you can find that uh, motion, was it a, a, a mocap profile? And then uh, everybody knows JS Films in the iClone world. He also has a tutorial up. I'll link both of those um, in the description and whatnot. And he also has a Google Drive link with a different mocap profile. And his is half the size of the other guys, Mr. GFX Unreal. And his actually seems to work more often than the other one, so boom. All right, that's enough talking. Let's just get to So yeah, so this is the first test. Basic setup out here in Texas where it's hot as shit, so there's a bunch of fans. You could probably hear the fan behind me right now. And all these work trucks. Everybody got a damn work truck. So yeah, it's real basic. Uh, I'm not like a professional animator, never went to school for this shit. can barely draw stick figures. Uh, just learning iClone, learning Unreal to make, you know, creative stuff, films, narrative things, who knows what. So this is the asset from Unreal, it's the Electric Dreams environment. It's that, uh, that PCG, that procedurally generated uh, geography, <laughs> procedural content generation, whatever it is. Yada, 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 so I'm not talking about that. So anyway, I'm talking about Xsense. So I got the Xsense on, you just put on all the straps. You should already know this by now. Let me hide this out here. Let me show you the idea real quick first. So this is that bullshit you would get when you would try to import. There you go. That shit right there. Whack. Anyway, like I said, JS Films, Mr. GFX Unreal had the stuff to fix it. So let's keep it moving. So the idea, the idea, the idea. Premiere is not that intuitive. So this is a scene that I wanted to do for the, the big giant, the BFG, whatever. It's the giant, uh, it's the talent, the kid, the human. And then they're just, I guess they're talking. Then boom, they hear something, turns around. Oh, did I not save it? Probably didn't save it. Oh, what's that, it's him farting. But anyway, it turns around and there's another giant that comes in. There he is, as you can see right here. All right, cool. So that's pretty much it. Got to understand, uh, make sure you understand your blocking and camera direction before you even start jumping into something like this or you'll have yourself turned 180 every which way. So I made sure to do all that. So we got the idea down. Next thing is the characters. I don't mind all the stuff I'm scrubbing through. It's just a bunch of bullshit. Here we go. Cool. So the BFG, according to the book and movies, is about 24 feet. And I was like, all right, cool. So that's gonna be what I'm going for, my reference point, about 24 feet for that giant. And later on, what you're gonna see is that I threw in another giant who's gonna be bigger than all those giants. And I think I went with the Jolly Green giant size, so like almost double. I'll have to check again. This is already taking too much time, so let's just hop right into it. So boom, 
did the mocap session here. I think I started with Here we go. Do 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 do. Putting the stuff on. Do 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 do. Every which way. And as you can see here on the uh, the NVN software, the overpriced software, you can see all of these dots that represent the sensors as you put them on. So boom, it's reading all of them. Everything's cool. I'm telling you right now, those shirts are small as. And I'm like, that right there, nah, man. The, the biggest shirt that comes with that thing is the one I'm wearing. And the shoots that I plan on doing once I get a lot more comfortable with this include talent that's larger than I am. So you can go online and you can buy their shirt for like 150 something dollars. <laughs> Everybody's bending you over, man. It's crazy. So anyway, got the suit on. Make sure it works. Another thing that I I don't know if it's right or wrong. I just do everything in T pose. I know it says to do in pose. I just use T pose. Uh, it just I don't know. I'm not a professional. I don't know. Somebody who's smarter who knows all this stuff who's been doing this could tell you better. T pose is working for me. And when I record my sessions, I even do a first session as a T pose, even though it'll do like the first frame of the T pose. All right, I'm, tell I'm talking too much, so here we go. Boom, I did the recordings. Now let's see, start off in the T-pose. It has like an audio thing telling you ding, 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 ding. Make sure you stay still. As you see, the calibration was poor a couple times. I did have a calibration was poor when I first put this on and it was pissing me off. Like what's going on here, all this money once again. And then I realized I didn't have the damn hand um, sensors on. So that can happen too. All right. Fast forward to this, he's sitting down. So I did, uh, you know, I just did my version of all this. So you see me right here, moving around, boom. What the hell am I doing? I'm just taking my time, all right. All right, cool. So you can barely see it. Boom, 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 he gets up. What's that sound? Looks down, you see the right hand, we can't see it there, just tell him to be careful. He hears the other giant. Okay, I probably f that one up. Bad take. Looks like a bad take. All right, here you go. And make sure the straps are on nice, because I think uh, a couple of the straps in the leg were slipping. It's hot as so your talent will be sweating. Boom. Turn it around. Okay. Now I'm recording. There you go. You can see the red. That red bounding box means I'm recording. All right. Boom. All right. You know, I'm not going to waste my time on this. Shit. I'm just going to skip through all this stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not wasting my time with this computer today. So look, there's everything. Boom. I did all my recordings. Then you re-import uh, the recordings back into the software. You see this blue right here, it's doing that uh, HD reprocessing. And one place where it's really obvious, if it'll let me show it. Ah, oh, crap, it might be a problem. So the human scene was like, the human's just jumping up and down on the trampoline, which would actually be a table. So they're jumping up and down, they hear the noise, they duck, or they cower and they hide behind what's eventually gonna be like big ass cans of like tuna or something on the table. Then they, they run, screen left. Then the large giant, the antagonist, sticks his hand out towards that area. Then the uh, talent, the human runs cross camera, then dives, jumps and dives. And then I wanna have like one camera like fly over a cliff almost so you can like feel the peril or whatnot. But anyway, when I recorded it, there it is, there it is, all right, cool. When I recorded it here, oh, Puget, your computers, man, come on, dude. It's supposed to be top of the line. All right, here, so I recorded, so right now, here's the whole, I'm gonna show you the whole recording. All right, cool. So this will eventually be the Wild Boy character here. Jumping up and down, doom, 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 oh, shit. 
What's that? All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to hide over here. Oh, I'm out. Boom. So you see. Oh, come on, man. Just rewind. Rewind for me. There you go. So you see, jumped, then the carriage just flew off screen. Let me see if I'll show you better. And this is from the raw capture data, but as you can see, this blue right here is starting to creep and it's doing the HD processing. So remember, it flew off at one point, kind of like the Rococo does. I hate to say it. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's hiding, he's hiding, da 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 boom. All right, there, and he, so he flies off. So that's the raw. That's the raw data right there. Now, if you keep your eyes right here, you see that light blue, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving over here, so he jumps off right here. All right, let's fast forward it. So now, it's still going, hold on. Make sure we get our money's worth. Make sure we get every dollar's worth. Movella. Let's see. You know, he's still flying. I would sing that song, but that dude's a perv. So he's flying. Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. Come on, Puget. Come on, you can do it. I need to get the laptop out. All right. Oh. There you go. So now it's been processed, and you see it. Do 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 do. Let's watch it one more time. Jumping on that trampoline. And if you get a trampoline, make sure it supports your weight and then some. Don't be acting stupid and getting right at your weight. Boom. It's hiding. Hey, I'm good over here. Oh no, you're not. Oh shit, I'm out. Boom jumps boom stuck to the floor that's what you're paying for right there with that hd processing shit. anybody else except for like vicon and all the expensive stuff it would have been horrible trust me from my experience it would have been horrible all of those markerless camera blah 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 your character would have been all over the place a matter of fact that raw recording is probably better than what you would get from a lot of these other systems around the same price just to be honest with you okay cool so I uh, don't want to get into scaling. Okay, so we got all that stuff. I'm just going to jump right to it. So here's the, here are my stand-ins. These are a couple of them are PAs. The other dude's a producer. We want to make sure that we have the scaling right. So instead of just going into iClone when you have your characters and trying to do the scaling in there, what I do is I do the scaling in Character Creator by changing the proportion of the entire body and keeping everything locked to scale. There we go. So you're going to go to the modify proportion area. You know, I, if I want to, I just do a tutorial or something like that some other time. Whatever, whatever. I'm not doing that. We got our characters. We got our stand-ins. I got them blocked in. And now I'm importing. There you go. Importing. Importing the FBX stuff. Make sure you name your stuff correctly so you don't have a problem. So there's that issue I was talking about. Go holler at JS Films or Mr. GFX Unreal. And you'll see the link. I might even just add the. Uh, I might be talking too much. I might add the links to, uh, on this video. All right, there's too much talking. Boom. Same problem, whatever. We know the solution. Add the animations to everybody. Next thing you're going to make sure to do is have your timing correct for the key points of that. There's all kind of. Most of y'all probably already went to school. You already know what you're doing. You don't, you don't even care for this. You already know what's up. So, for those of you, the uninitiated, Get your timing correct, import all your stuff. I mean, import, import all your stuff, get your timing correct. Get a little set design. None of this really matters right here as far as the trees, but it helps me understand like what I want as far as the scene location goes. Adds a little atmosphere to it so it's not boring as hell. Just adding some camera moves here just to get the feel for it and get the idea how the scene will actually look. And let me play it out for you real quick, if I can. Oh dear Lord, just rewind. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Hey, look at you, you're a computer. All right, here you go. Oh dear Lord, Puget, play. Hiding, 
R E. Okay, that's probably me talking. Shit. I smell human. Okay, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Maybe this marker is it. Hey, there you go. My bad. Matter of fact, let me just do it this way. And feel free to fast forward. I'm just, just I'm just doing this all in one take. So here you go. So that's it. Da 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 da. -da. What the f yeah, 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 yeah. I smell chicken wings. Oh, I guess I paused it. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm just messing around with the camera. Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to perfect some iClone BS. All right, but you, you see that you get the gist of it. See, I didn't, this like, you can tell this in a professional recording. I'm not some content creator dude. So there you go. That's it. We know the accent stuff works. It's imported in an iClone. That's pretty much it. Have a nice day. Not really. So now everything you want to send it to Unreal. So make sure in Unreal, I'm not even going to go over there. There's tutorials everywhere for it. You have the plugin installed uh, for your engine, right? Yeah, for your engine. Uh, you set up an iClone origin where you want everything to go. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's see. Let's see. File naming. Uh, this was me trying to be add extra stuff because I was going to change the table, but I was like, why am I doing all this extra stuff? This is just supposed to be a test. Uh, there it is, that iClone Live link. Make sure you have that, you lucky bastards. There you go. It's right there. I just happened on that. So, boom. I don't know if I had the cameras already set up at this point. Uh, whatever, whatever. I got everything here set up. Remember, these are just temp actors. So, boom. You see that? You see that right there? Right there. Boom. Go here. Make sure you transfer your scene with the included motion. Now, one thing to also understand since these are just temporary actors. Oh, you know me not say that. I was going to say you can just export without the motion just to make sure it looks good in Unreal. And then later on, you can export just the motion by itself when you're uh, finally ready for that. So cool. Everything's in here. They're in the scene. If you're an iClone and you get this character, just don't forget that he has two different shorts on any, for any project you're doing. I've already been caught up with that in the past. Make sure you check that out. Delete the, one, the pair you don't need. That's just another tip. Do, 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 do. All right, so this is the actual character I wanted to use that wouldn't compile with this new system. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Here. So. Now, uh, I have the character and character creator that I actually want the actual talent. You just import it in character creator. Make sure you have the temporary character in iClone highlighted and then a the character creator, you just export to iClone. That simple and it, uh, it'll ask you if you want to replace the animation, you just say no because you want to keep the animation. I don't know if you say no. I usually just click the X on the box, I think. I don't remember. Cool. That's the character. He's supposed to be in place, uh, the girl right there. So I just imported him right there. Boom. Check the alignment. Did a lot of other stuff, but I'm not going over that right now. Boom. There's that character right there. And then I had this guy here, but he doesn't really fit this, like, um, weird avatar-esque character, whatever, whatever. So I just put the skin on him. And you actually see him again as another giant. Boom. So that's enough of that. So we got our characters now. Now, now we have our characters. We're ready. We got the motions, everything's blocked. Everything, you send everything back to Unreal. Depending on your computer, depending on the day and the time, it might take a long ass time. It's just whatever. So boom, got everything in. All my characters are in their place. Another thing I do, 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 do as soon as everything is imported, they'll all be in that T or A pose. You need to, do, 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 do. you see here where it says animation mode? 
click this, and then you can actually choose the animations that you uh, created. And that's how you can tell, you can check your movements. And you have the option of having it play right here. So you click that and it'll actually play it out. If it doesn't play it out, what you can do, and what I end up doing is this initial position thing right here, I just scale it, I can just, you can just scrub it all the way to the end and you can actually see how your animation is playing out. So there you go. So yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty much it. I, this wasn't supposed to be a tutorial on anything except for a review of this X-Sense and my first time using it, seeing what it's like and seeing if it's possible to take it out to Unreal or to import, <laughs> to import the mocap data to iClone, then take that to Unreal without having any hiccups. Ran into a hiccup. There are some content creators out there who um, have posted the solution for that. And I've already mentioned them a few times. So there you go. And this is a scene right here in iClone with the actual talent. I definitely had to go in and do some modifications. There's just a long behind the scenes capture of all that stuff. Not really gonna get into that now, but I added the facial animation. And all of this is here. Uh, face puppet. And in the, I forgot what it's called, that right there, right there, that thing. Edit motion layer, right? So you can, you can uh, mess with the hands, uh, torso, head, legs. Got to be careful. I don't really understand the spring effects too, too much yet. I, it's a lot of tutorials, man. I got time for all this. But from what I know, if you are having issues, you can disable the spring, then do the animation, then enable the spring, yada, 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 whatever. So cool. That's what it is. So I did X-Sense, the first real test. Uh, a BFG-like scene. There it is, an iClone. I even brought the other guy in, and I took... If you notice, uh, well, let me find it. I just brought in the, the animation right there, that guy. I literally just took the animation from somebody else and just plugged it into him. Then I slowed it down a little bit just to match his scale because he is a larger, he's a giant, he's a larger talent. Imported all the stuff to Unreal. In the sequencer, you got all their um, animation key frames did a little set design. Dude was huge, but he was still floating here, so I added some more stuff. Why am I telling you this? It's just about X Sense. And there it is. Everything is set up. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do you need to see? This is just the extra. Because I'm not, it just, it's kind of tough for me to just be like, ah, right, here's the scene, bye. Uh, I always got to add a little something to it, some camera movement. Added this little extra thing to it right here. The, what is that? I think it's the Griffin, whatever. The, the mythical quadruped creatures. It's free also in Unreal. Uh, you can attach stuff to that. Uh, tutorial can, on that can be another time. Anyway, it has nothing to do with Rococo. Uh, Rococo uh, with x -Sense. There's some Easy Fog from Fauché up there. Some more extra stuff. Stupid deer. Got ticks and all that shit. There you go. Boom. And I did make a cut. Rented out all the different camera angles so you can actually see the scene. So let me give you one of them. See what I'm saying? So that's from the hopping on there. There's me hopping on the trampoline right there. They're running. Go hide. There's me talking over there. Then there's that run right there. Jump off the trampoline. Boom. Didn't fly away. None of that. Camera movement is trash. Whatever, whatever. But um, yeah. That's that. And I guess I'll just I'll let stuff play. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so while this is going, I'll just say um, thoughts on the Excess. Excess is, ah, golly, man. Expensive. <laughs> everything, is, everything costs money, let's put it that way. However, compared to the others, other stuff that I've used, as far as just, uh, and I've seen, um, as far as like Coco and all of these um, startups that have their little cameraless uh, motion tracking and all that crap, there's always something, man. Whether your body's jittering, whether it's hovering, whether it's floating the f away or whatever, there's always something. This is the first time I've actually been like, oh wow, that's kind of close to what I want to see. You know, it's I don't have to be on um, what was that? Mixamo, 
getting all of these damn animations and then trying to piece them together and then you find out that the root is a different direction or something like that and you know you put in another animation and your, your character turned the opposite way and trust me I, i've paid for some damn um iclone packs those motion and some of them are pretty cool no i like can't even, can't even hate on them. they're pretty cool but you got to do a lot of work editing to get kind of what you want to uh, get so that being said x sense is pretty cool it's got me hyped to get back and re-record a bunch of mocap Uh, but this is cool, you can do everything, you can have your talent doing stuff, you can just sit back and actually direct the motion. And uh, for the price, what I would say is just make sure you have a bunch of stuff set set up to do before you even pay for that damn thing, you know? Other than that, yeah. Have fun, keep creating, and I will play the cut. Uh, it's just gonna be the music. I'm not doing sound effects and all that stuff. And yeah, it's the first video I ever did of me talking, so <laughs> there you go. Boom. Keep creating, have a good time. And I will play the cut as soon as this is done. Oh, it's a lot of All right, two more. I ain't waste my fucking time this comes in. Da 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 da. There's that giant. Da 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 da. Oh. Birdman. I'm pulling up on you, man. Boom. So you got that. And then this is just a wide establishment shot. And I'm doing it again. Uh, it's just supposed to be about accents. So boom. And yeah, so if you happen to watch the few people that do watch this, there you go. Maybe in the future, I'll actually do the whole thing where I sit down and um, actually go through what I did as far as editing the motions, yada, yada, yada. The reasons for the camera angles I chose, et cetera, et cetera. And I am still talking about other Cool. Yeah, there you go. Have a good day. And there's the cut from Xen's first test. I said I was gonna take long, this is gonna be real quick. It's just about the accents. So learning the accents, an hour or something like that, just to learn the software. The recordings, I would say, all of this, all of this together was, can be done in less than a day. I did this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, only took a couple hours out of each of the days to do it. So somebody who actually has like that animation skill set or whatever, whatever, can, you can do some badass stuff with this. So keep creating, keep inspiring, keep having fun. Make sure you're having fun when you're doing this, because if you're not having fun doing this, you should not be doing this. I'm pulling up on you, man. Cool. More to come later. Peace.